what that actually happens, we're not sure, but one of these two guys can be in line to fight Merkel very soon. Here's how the two gentlemen stack up with one. No. no. Okay. 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 Yuri has a loss to uh, Muhammad Luol. Uh, here in Ryzen got knocked out uh, a while ago. Uh, but has, Yuri's had an incredible, incredible run going on right now. And literally one of the next guys that they, that, that could be a superstar here in Japan if he wins this fight tonight. Um, uh, Carl, on the other hand, just because no one really knows him that much because he only has seven fights, it's very difficult to say what he can do with him. Like, push him. Both these guys are, are super slick fighters, fantastic. Look for Yuri's jumping knees. Look for Albertson to try and close the distance, get this one down to the ground and use his, his ground game. I'm not gonna lie to you, ladies and gentlemen, I am surprised, even though it's not even a minute past, into the, or sorry, a minute into the first round, that there hasn't been some explosiveness here. These two guys, very intense really want really understand they want to get rid of the other guy from anyone's radar at Ryzen. and a really good head motion even though his hands you look at how yuri's hands are always kind of down but he's still very difficult to hit there it is this is exactly what albert Siegel wanted he wanted to get this fight down to the ground. And he's got plenty of time. Plenty of time here to suck the wind out of Prohaska. Slowly but surely, methodically move up the guard, move past the half guard, trying to get the side controller into mount. Carl does not have a very tight game on top. It's a very strong game, though. He's very he's got a lot of leverage, a lot of flexibility with his top game. But he's not like a smothering top guy that, that's going to suck a lot of energy out from you. But what he does do very well, he's very sneaky with his punches. He'll all of a sudden rotate his shoulder over, and he's catching the top of the head, or he's throwing a, a, an elbow in. So you can't ever rest. Even though you're not being crushed and being smothered, you can't rest down here because he's going to hit you with something that's going to either cut you or do a lot of damage. Yuri's yeah. got to get his legs involved together in practice yes especially <laughs> Did you just let go this is the just janitor. the janitor yes sir what are you going to do now what are you going to do now just take this what are you going to I mean, shut up i can't get out <laughs> again here albertson in full control slowly but surely trying to make yuri eat some punches you're doing a somewhat okay job of defending here needs to be a little bit more careful it's a lot of time for Carl to be on top of you. He yep. got down there was eight and a half minutes uh, left in the round. Nice attempt there by Prohaska trying to explode out of there. But see how he's exploding where his feet are up in the air, Joe? He, he's got no pressure. He's using everything of his upper torso. He's got to put his feet on the ground and use his hips, get his hips involved. Right now he's expending a lot of energy, which is helping Carl out because it's making him more exhausted without having to really worry about him getting out of there. <laughs> Just about four minutes gone in the opening round here. Scheduled for two. First run, ten minutes. Second round, five minutes. Carl Albertson on top of Yuri Prohaska. As Frank said, Yuri's positioning is incorrect here, but he tried to buck to the right side, which is the smart thing to do. But yeah, I believe, Frank, you need to buck and hip escape if the yeah. buck fails. You're yeah, ready yeah. to do both. And what we're seeing is a lot of one-time, let me hit this one-time explosive position, let's see what happens, as opposed to hitting, uh, and it took me a very long time to learn this, is that you can't do one position, you have to do a series of super small ones until you can get a position change where that one big one is going to get you completely out. Uh, Yuri's stepping all the way up to the final and not getting away. 
There you go, a little old school here. Elbow dragged across the face. Obviously, we, we didn't say before the fight or, or during the intros, elbows are allowed. Both both fighters have agreed to elbows in this one. Yep. And, and to be honest, we've had a lot of fighters tonight agreed for elbows. We really haven't seen that much damage done with elbows at all. Um, obviously, under under Japanese uh, uh, MMA rules, you know, the head stops and second kicks, we haven't seen very haven't many. Seen many tonight, you're right. We saw the one knee for the finish uh, yep. uh, earlier, but it was already done before the knee even came in, came in the factor. Um, and the knee barely didn't really land that well. I mean, obviously, you know, uh, um, Asakura knew it was already done and didn't throw full force into it. So there we go. Prahasa gets out a good job defending himself down there. Four and a half minutes to go in the opening round here. He was able to survive what Albertson wanted to do with this fight was to get it down to the ground and punish Yuri. Didn't do much punishing in my opinion, Frank. And now no, it's really time didn't. for Prohaska to really pick up the pace here, try and get this finished, the stand-up, which is where he wants it. Bobbing and weaving is Prohaska. As is Albertson. Trying to ensure that this is not a target you're going to hit. It's a moving target. Respect goes for Hoska. I went to throw a kick or a knee and kind of hit the groin. And you know, Carl shook it off. A little high in that body lock. It's a mistake for Hosko when he does strike in that manner to get too close to Albertson because Albertson wants the double underhooks, wants to clinch. Prohaska is such a long fighter. He's so, he's so tall. He needs to use his length a lot more. He's really not using his length. He's really trying to step inside because he is explosive. He is strong. But he needs to use a lot more of, of his length in this position because if you let a Carl on the inside, he's going to take you down again. Oh, oh wow. Lazy. I like those lazy kicks. You don't know where they're coming from. The timing is generally off and boom, shit across the head. But here's Alderson oh, saying, You're not oh. doing that again. We're going to the ground. I thought uh, Yuri was going to be able to turn the corner on him as he got him thrown and put him on his back. Instead, he gets caught down. Oh, did he? Oh, look, Carl's bleeding. Yeah. So he got hit with something. I didn't see what uh, what caused that. Uh, uh, I don't know if it was a cut or if his nose is just leaking. Well, his head's leaking. The referee's taking a look at it. He pointed to his mouth. No, that's coming out of the that's nose, nose. Frank. Okay. That's the nose. I wonder if it was that kick, the way he oh, landed. Oh, so I saw the referee tap his forehead as he was talking. And so headbutt? I assumed it was, his head was bleeding, but it's a headbutt. So it was a, probably says interventional class, the way they, when they jumped into each other. Okay. They caught him on the nose. I'm guessing. So I don't know for sure yet. What the, wait till the round's over before they get it all sorted out. Just over two minutes to go in this opening round. Albertson has him where he wanted now, and I'm sure there's a sense of urgency realizing that that is my blood that has fallen on top of my opponent, and I'm on top of my opponent. I gotta bloody him up now. You never know how bad you're actually bleeding when you're in it. All you see is blood everywhere, and you realize it's your own. Not, you're like, okay, if this goes to the doctors, this might stop. Yeah. I might lose this fight. I've got to keep moving. I've got to keep trying to get this get this fight in a position where I can win. And unfortunately for Carl right now, he's in a spot where he could win this fight. But Yuri is so good from the bottom that he is stopping him from being able to, to do any kind of real solid damage. From we just saw the look from the referee's angle. The referee, he, the referees here at Rise do wear cameras. He's still trying to ground and pound here. Albertson still working away here. Just over a minute to go here in the opening round. As you saw there, Frank, Yuri just kind of opened his hands going like, are we going to still be here for a while? Or because like, you're not doing anything. Yeah, well, the, uh, the thing is that on the bottom, he's not taking any damage. So it feels like there's really nothing going on. There's nothing happening. But as we can see, and as you guys can see at home, that there is a lot of action going on. Carl keeps battling to keep on top. He keeps moving. Every time Yuri tries to get out of half guard, he puts him back There's in the some half guard. Fists. There oh. we go. There's some shots being landed there. Now we got the elbows that Frank Schrag was mentioning. Why he stopped, I don't know, for the position, but he could have kept going, Frank. Absolutely. I mean, oh. Good job by Yuri to keep getting out of there. Fantastic job by Prohaska. 
And now there's, oh, there was the jumping knee attempt there that I was mentioning. Nice left hook landed by Albertson now. Uh -oh, 20 oh. seconds ago, he drops him. Prohaska drops him. Uppercut. 15 seconds to go in the opening round. Picking up the pace is Prohaska. Bobbing and weaving his head is Albertson. Taking the shots. Hair flying uh -oh. everywhere. It's Down it. it's he over. goes. It's the over. referee it says that is enough. Right before the final bell, Prohaska, after surviving the ground and pound on the ground, emerges victorious to defeat Carl Albertson wow. with seconds to go in the opening yeah. round. That's incredible. He was completely getting schooled on the bottom, was in a very bad position, never allowed any kind of damage to come down there. When the damage did come, he took advantage of it because when someone sits up, he's been holding you for all this time, he sits up, gives you damage, he's now let you go. And usually what happens is everyone starts to panic and they get punched and they get elbowed and then you jump back down and hold him again. The moment he was able to shift, shift the position, once he got a little bit of damage done to him from the top side, he moved himself out of it, got on top, took full advantage to go to finish the fight. Very puzzled am I, to be honest with you, with Albertson, the way he was finally able to land those hammer fists, punches, and then stopped. Prohaska got up and then said, that's it, I'm gonna finish you off here. And this was seconds to go, seconds to go at the end of the round. Wow, great job, Ayuri. He, and he, he can be a superstar. He can be one of, the, one of the guys that rise and pushes and becomes one of their main guys. He's got the look, he's got the attitude, and when he fights like this, where he's getting beat, he is getting beat, he was losing the fight to this point, to come back in and get a stoppage.